This Ag Vision program is made possible through the generous support of Syngenta Seeds, NK brand. The results you need, the freedom to choose. And by Farms.com, Ag News, Market Prices, Ag Careers, and Farm Real Estate. You'll find it all at Farms.com. Our top manager team continues to receive questions from farmer viewers across the country. Many of them have a similar theme, questions about how to fix a system that consistently offers an inconsistent income. Today the team looks at the problem as stated by W. Edwards Deming. Your system is designed to give you exactly the results that you're getting. Well, the, uh, the assumptions that we uh, have on our agriculture system is largely production-based. Uh, the bulk of our research, uh, the bulk of the, uh, the applications from the crop supply companies has been focused on increasing production. So that's been our assumptions, it's been our mode of operation. Uh, as a nation, uh, farmers are, the assumption is, is that if farmers get a higher yield, they'll make more returns. And that is proven not to be the case. Uh, a big part, certainly production's part of it, but the other part of it is marketing and determining a, a margin, securing a margin in advance uh, that you can get. So, higher, highest yields that does not necessarily guarantee the highest profits. And it's a combination of looking at what the costs are, what your operating costs are, and what the market can uh, can put can put in your pocket. And so. That's uh, that's a big part of uh, needing to change our assumptions. Is we need to look at uh, at the markets and figure out how we can secure uh, a net profit margin uh, throughout looking at the whole system rather than just focusing on maximizing production. Well, there's, I believe that there's a a process can dictate results, and you can go out in any operation and you can look at current results and you can pass a judgment on whether or not that farm is being well managed, and, but you don't have any idea whether or not that farm has a chance to survive over the long pool. But if, if I can sit down with that management team and look at their financial management system, their production management system, their personnel management approaches, and look at how all those various systems or processes come together as a complete farm management system, I can make a pretty good prediction on whether or not that farm will survive over the long pool. And we spend a lot of time evaluating results, but we don't spend very much time evaluating process. And whether you're trying to find whether you should be a conventional versus a no-tiller, or whether you should look at outsourcing, insourcing, there are good processes that can be followed in every one of these areas that can help maximize your potential to move towards excellence. So I think it's important that we have a balance. We have to get the work done, we have to get results, but we need to continue to look at process in our business. And how can we refine that process to improve our efficiencies and our, our overall performance? 